Hey, this is Anthony's Repsol. So you can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Ether Skyline jacket available at Repsol.com. This is the Skyline. This is the jacket that started it all in the Moto universe from Ether. Now, if you're new to Ether, remember, they're West Coast, they're cool, they're from LA. But the benefit that you get is super premium from a style standpoint with Moto functionality. So you're looking at a jacket that looks like it's right off the rack from wherever you buy your fashiony clothing. Now, I'm not talking down to it. I have stuff that looks great too. But what you're not realizing here is your D3O Evo XT armor in the shoulders as well as the elbow using a CE Level 1 D3O Molecular Armor Viper Back Protector. It's a waterproof, breathable jacket. But again, you wouldn't know that. It's the beauty of on the bike, off the bike protection with phenomenal style from the West Coast, from the design in the USA. Now, Hive is Brian to my left wearing the Skyline. This is my favorite color. This is the canvas green color. It's the outside of this is really that, they call it Japanese field nylon, but it's that canvasy military. It comes in four colors. So you have a blue, it's a dark blue, you have a gray, you also have a jet black. But I think this is the prettiest of the colors. I just called you pretty. The prettiest of the colors here for the Skyline from Ether. Now, I did mention that it is going to be waterproof and breathable. It's a non-removable liner. There's no removable thermal. There's no thermal to this. So really, it's going to be that temperate season. So think West Coast riding, think spring, think fall, with something heavier underneath it, you can stretch it a little bit into the cooler times of the year. But it does have six vents, and they're direct to the body vents. Two on the chest, the doubles pockets, we'll talk about them in a sec. You have two pit vents, one on each side, if you have two arms, two armpits. And on the back, you're gonna see two vertical exhaust vents. So again, great ability to get airflow through. It is a heavier weight canvas style exterior. Again, that Japanese field nylon, it has that great feel, that great texture to it. But again, you're trading that off, you're trading that style for a lighter weight summer riding coat. If you want a mesh jacket, go buy a mesh jacket. This is really gonna make you look a little bit better. That's what you're investing in here. Now, quick note on sizing, and it's important, you need to listen up. Hive is Brian, six foot 195, 42 inch chest. If Hive is Brian went, oh, I'm on the computer, let's use the size chart, it would tell him to buy a size three. Ether goes size one through five. He's wearing a size two. I wear a size two as well. The size chart says we should both be in threes. So remember this, go a size down on the size chart. Use the size chart and whatever it tells you, go one size down for the skyline. It does fit what we consider a size big. Now, that being said, I will call out my only nitpick. So while it's gonna fit you, use a size big, you're gonna go side down, you're gonna be good to go. And it's gonna be what I would consider a classic cut. It has a nice tailor to it, not overly baggy or bulky, also not overly aggressive. We did find that in the elbows, right along your elbow where your, where your armor is gonna come into place, if you put your arms up, put your arms just like that HVB, you're gonna feel it, it gets a little tight. The diameter is a little small. Now, he works out and so do I, and in this jacket, we said, okay, it feels a little tight, but ultimately you're not riding like this. If you're gonna ride in the tuck with this jacket, you're not riding in the tuck. But if you were, don't buy this jacket. If you're in a normal riding position, maybe three quarter, maybe a touring or cafe position, you should be good to go. Maybe, you know, with clip-ons, you're not gonna wanna ride this jacket if you have bigger arms, because again, you're gonna be closer to that tuck. Keep that in mind, that was really my only nitpick with the jacket itself, or really even with the size was a little bit of breathing room when you add that armor in and the elbows would go a long way, but it is that tailored fit. Now remember, use the size chart, go down a size. And keep in mind too, if you're just not sure, you can always give us a ping and we're gonna ship for free over 39 bucks. I'd love it too, before I work into some of the other details in the jacket, I'd love for you to click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the Ether Skyline jacket. Curious if you like it as much as we do, or if green is going to be your favorite color. Green's your favorite color. Green's my favorite color too. Ah, it's a lie, I'm orange. So so moving into the jacket, some of the other details. Notice they're using these donut snaps, which I really dig. They have the ether on the button. When they're done, they look like they're shell casings. I was like, oh, it's a hunting jacket. No, but they're the donut snaps. And the nice part is they're using that military style webbing that you get your finger underneath and they're easy to do. Without that military webbing behind it, they're a little harder to snap down. Again, it's very thoughtful in its design. You have it down the front. Two cargo pockets on the front and two hand warmer pockets behind. And they're gonna be fleece line hand warmer pockets. The details are done well here. You're making a big investment. You're gonna spend over six bones on this jacket. So again, you want it to be fully complete. Now, when you get into the sleeve, no adjustability at the biceps. Again, they kept it really clean and stylish. Ether, auto locking zipper, everything's branded. The only branding that you see is on the buttons and on the zippers. That's really it. You're really not gonna have any big pops of logoing. That's what they're going for. There are a ton of, Companies out there, they're gonna put their logos everywhere. Ether said, nope, it's not about us, it's about the style and the protection, minimal amounts of logoing. Now, we might as well talk about these front chest vents here. Zipper on both sides, they're auto-locking zips, but the cool part is, here, turn the face that way, Hive is Brian, and get your arm out of the way before I chop it off. 
actually, it's going to be really hard to see. Let's go this way, just right there. If we look in here, there's actually a vent and a pocket. You can see that that pocket has Velcro. So you're able to stash in there and then you Velcro it down and the airflow works its way around it. So again, if it was just a vent pocket, you could have things when you open it to get the ventilation that could fall out. But they gave you the ability to have that secondary pocket inside to keep everything secure, which is a nice touch. All right, now turn and face that way. Now, if we look at the top and work our way down here, notice reflective piping up along the collar there, reflective across the back. It's this big pop of reflective, but it's nicely done. It stands out the most on the green, on the gray, the black, as well as the blue. You're not really gonna notice it because it blends in more, but it's still tasteful even on the green. Working our way down, reflective piping here. And as you move your way down, you're gonna see on the back there, there's our big zip. Now, under his arm, there's our pit zip. Again, works its way all the way up. Again, great place for entry and exit of air, creating great circulation, summertime riding. Now, hive is Brian. You're also gonna notice here down along the hip, it's gonna be hip length, but there's no cinch. And doesn't, I don't believe there's an interior cinch either. So again, it's meant to sit cleanly. It's meant to have that great style and line to it. Turn back from there, HVB. Now, we've talked about our, both our vertical vents. We've talked about the collar and the reflective piping. Remember, you're getting a CE Level 1 removable Viper from D3O, so molecular armor. You could buy the CE Level 2 Viper, and you could insert it here. It's going to create a little bit more width. You might see it, but I like how they've designed this jacket. You don't see any of the lines of the armor. And as you work your way down, notice you're getting that full drop seat here, hip length all the way around, and turn and stop. This is the only logo. It's embroidered, it's down here along the side. Very, very minimal, very, very high end. Again, fashion meets protection meets motorcycling. And keep in mind too, it's gonna be waterproof and breathable using their proprietary waterproof breathable membrane that's baked in, not removal. Come back around to the front. So if we open up the rest of our donut snaps, I want a donut now. Notice, metallic zips, again, nice. They're premium zippers. They do have the Ether logo. Actually, before we undo it, you'll notice at the bottom here, it is a two-way. So notice this jacket's gonna go down to the hip. If you're riding in the upright position, you can break it at the bottom and spread it, so it's not gonna bunch up on you. Here, let's undo it all the way. If HVB opens it up there, you're gonna see on the inside here, basic mesh, very, very simple. Open that side, is there a pocket? There's gonna be a pocket Napoleon style on this side of the jacket. Again, it should be behind the waterproof liner. So again, you're, you're gonna be able to have a waterproof pocket on the interior. And you can also see up here by the collar, notice it's super fleece lined right around the Adam's apple. So when he has this guy all the way up, you're going to see that fleece lining is the only thing that would be touching his neck and you get that pulling it all together. Again, creature comforts. Zip that bad boy back up. Remember, the next step in your journey is to click right here. Visit RevZilla.com and read other rider reviews of the Ether Skyline. Remember, in the line, you can get a non waterproof jacket that feels a little similar that's called the loop and there are other like the expedition jacket which is just super high end you're investing here but it's that style and premium protection married together as always we're going to ship for free over 39 bucks if you want to talk to a gear geek see us at revslaw.com or 877 9455 thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the ether skyline jacket i'm anthony subscribe to us on youtube we'll see you next time